Hello, my name is Donald Gray Drury, and I'm a criminal defense attorney in California. In fact, Northern California, my office, is located in San Leandro, California. However, I handle all of the nine Bay Area counties up here in Northern California. That would include Alameda County, Contra Costa, San Mateo, Santa Clara, San Francisco, Marin, Santa Rosa, it goes on and on, but I'm in all of those areas. I've tried cases in Santa Barbara as well as here in the Bay Area. Um, and I've been doing this for a quarter of a century now, successfully for an awful lot of clients. One of the first things that happens is uh, people don't know how to react when, when they come in contact with the police officers. Police officers go through an academy and they're trained on how to get information out of you, uh, things that you don't think are important. Maybe at the time you're either scared or you're angry and you say a whole lot of things. First tip I can give you, don't say anything. If at all possible, don't say anything. So let's say it's a domestic violence case and they come to your house and uh, your partner is saying, hey, look, he was yelling and screaming at me and he was going to hit me and uh, you say, whoa. Sir, what happened here? Well, um, we were having an argument and uh, she's being a little bit more dramatic at this point because she's angry. Um, and, but you know what, I, I really don't have anything to say on this. I, I, I really don't. It's, it's a sad situation, but I don't have anything to say. And then I would be that type of a case. Um, if you're stopped for a petty theft or any kind of burglary, immediately, immediately say absolutely nothing. Your name, that kind of information, that's it. What were you doing? What are these? Sir, I have nothing to say. Um, if you're stopped for driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs or a combination, officer comes up and says, do you know why I stopped you? No, I don't. Uh, what is the reason you stopped me? So, well, do you know what the uh, speed limit is here? That's a trick question because they're trying to get you to admit that you were speeding. That makes it okay for their stop. And they may not have a good reason for your stop. So the answer to something like that is, um, well, if you're indicating or implying that I was speeding, I disagree with you, but I'll sign the citation. That way you can always fight it in court. So if the officer says, well, have you been drinking? Never, never, ever lie. So yes, sir, I've had a couple of drinks. Okay, uh, how many have you had? I've had a few. Well, what's that? Two, three, four? Officer, I wasn't counting, so I'm not gonna guess. I had a few drinks. Okay, where are you coming from? That's none of their business. Actually, what they're doing is they're trying to get information for their toxicologist to beat up one of your defenses. So don't tell them. Where are you going? That's none of their business. They're allowed to ask questions, pre-field sobriety test questions, and they take a whole lot of things out of context, like when did you sleep last? How long did you sleep? When did you eat last? Uh, what did you have to eat? Don't answer those questions. Again, that goes for the toxicologist. It has nothing to do with your field sobriety test. Think about this. If you had a hamburger 30 minutes before you were going to do this test, how would it affect you on the test as opposed to you having a steak dinner an hour before? It doesn't. What they're doing is trying to fill your stomach with food or no food for the rapid secession of the alcohol in your system. Okay, so don't give them that information. Just say, officer, if you think that I'm driving under the influence, I'll take a blood test, I have nothing else to say. That's it. Just go do it. 99% of the time, you're gonna end up going to jail and then you've given them all these other things. One of the things they'll do is they'll say, hey, look, we want you to take a, um, uh, a breath test out here. Don't do it unless you're under 21, you're on probation, don't do it. Stick to the blood test and you're in a much better shape uh, as long as you're just drinking alcohol. If you have a bunch of drugs in your system, that's a whole different deal. But um, blood is the best thing to do. We now have 
21st century technology. And I'm telling you, we're now finding all kinds of error in the labs reports. And so you'll see some of that. And I'm telling you, it makes a big, big difference in your case. If there's contamination in the blood, you cannot tell if the blood is good, bad, or indifferent. It's contaminated. So stick to the blood, don't give them two tests, and don't give them a lot of information. Another thing that happens with a DUI is they're going to take your license and give you a pink piece of paper suspending your license. Now that pink piece of paper will keep your license good for 30 days, but it tells you on there, and people don't look, that it's only good for 10 days to request a hearing. Very important, those are 10 calendar days, not business days. Have your lawyer do it. Another thing that happens, um, people go to jail, they immediately want to get out. Let's say you're charged with a felony, um, stealing a car, or, well, let's say that, uh, there's a, a theft, and it's felony theft, grand theft. You immediately want to take and get out, but the bail is very high. Don't just bail out. Hire the lawyer, have the lawyer go into court. They may be able to get you reduced to a lower bail or even get you reduced on your own recognizance. And that'll save you the money because you don't get bail money back. So you've got to think about these things. The next thing, and this is really important, write down everything that you can remember. And if it's a DUI case, start the night before. What time did you go to bed? How do you know? Did something go off a TV? Uh, what time did you get up? How do you know? Did the alarm go off? What did you have for breakfast? What did you have for lunch? What did you do? What time did you start drinking? All of that information that you're not giving to the police officer, you want to write down so that you know exactly what's happened and that you share with your attorney. For more information, come in for a free consultation. We do 45 minutes of free consultation on all the criminal cases whether it be domestic violence, carrying a gun, drugs, uh, theft, burglary, or driving under the influence. Just give us a call at 510-346-6666. We'll set up a free consultation for you to come in, bring all of your papers, and again, write everything down because within a couple of days, you're gonna forget things. You need to protect yourself. The police officer is writing a report right then. You don't wanna be left out. Protect yourself so I can help protect you. My name is Donald Gray Drury. Give us a call and maybe I can help you as I have thousands of others. Thank you.